Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. We're doing the 100 days to go revision videos and there's 80 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam. Today we're going to be focusing on the angles, that's your type of angles. So here's the revision card, card one. You've got your acute, your red angle, your obtuse angles and your reflex angles. I'll talk a bit more about those in the video. And also we've got the revision card on angle facts. And we're going to be looking at angle facts today. So angles and triangles, angles and red angles, straight lines at a point and so on. And there's cold match revision cards in those as well. Now, before we get started, I just want to also mention it's a good time to make sure you've got your equipment. So whenever you're doing your maths lessons, now, particularly for 80 days to go, you want to be prepared. You want to have all the equipment you're going to be using whenever you go into your GCSE maths exam. So make sure you've got your protractors. I tend to have two. I've got the 180 degree protractor and I also use the 360 degree protractor as well. I like these whenever I'm doing bearings questions or if I need to measure a reflex angle, these are quite useful as well. So I would maybe recommend looking into getting, if you've already got a 180 degree one and you're fantastic with that, that's fine. But you may find the 360 degree protractor quite useful. Unfortunately, whenever I bought it online, I came in packs of 10. So I've got nine extra ones, which um, um, I'll use maybe as trisbees or something. Um, but they're quite useful as well. So those um, 360 degree protractors. Okay, but in today's video, we're going to be going through angles. So there's types of angles, angle facts, things like that. So let's get started. So here we've got types of angles. So these are important to know your types of angles because you might be asked to draw an acute angle or circle the obtuse angle or label the right angle. Also, you might even be asked to measure an angle angle and if you know it's an obtuse angle you know your answer would have to be between 90 and 180 degrees and so on so your acute angles are bigger than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees your right angles are 90 degrees your obtuse angles are bigger than 90 but less than 180 degrees and your reflex angles are between 180 and 360 degrees so bigger than 180 but less than 360 and they're your reflex angles so it's important to know those types of angles feel free to jot them down to make a note of them this is part of the revision card if you've got the revision card that can be useful for you to help remember your types of angles as well okay Okay, so we've looked at types of angles. Now let's look at measuring and drawing angles. So let's start off with a measuring angles question. So here we've got an angle up here. As you can tell, it's an obtuse angle. It's bigger than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180. So that'll help us whenever we're measuring it to know roughly what the answer should be. So we get our protractor, and it's important you've got a protractor, and you put your protractor on top of the angle, like so. So I'm putting the protractor on the angle. I'm putting the cross of the protractor where the two lines meet. And I'm making sure the zero is on top of the line there. So we've got the zeros on the line and I've got the cross on top of where the two lines meet. Now I'm going to measure the angle. So I'm going to start at zero. So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right angle. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. And as you can see here, the line is exactly in the middle of 140, 150. It's 141, 142, 143, 144, 145. So that means that this angle is 145 degrees and that's it. So this angle is 145 degrees and what's great is we were expecting it to be an obtuse angle and 145 seems about right for that angle. So it's important you know how to measure your angles. Likewise, draw them. If we were asked to draw a 60 degree angle, I would draw a straight line on the page. I'd get my protractor and I just put it on top of the line and I'm just going to put it on the left hand side here just to show that sometimes whenever I put the protractor on the end of the line, on the left hand side of the line, and I've got the zero here, the zero is on the inside. Sometimes it's on the inside sometimes on the outside so as you can see here the zero is on the inside and we're going to go around to 60 degrees so 10 20 30 40 50 60 so 60 degrees would be there we would then move our protractor away we can get rid of it now and we've got a dot here we just get a ruler and pencil and you just draw it up from the the left hand side of the line up to that point or through that point then that angle here this angle would be 60 degrees and that's it so that's how you would draw a 60 degree angle so it's important you know how to measure and draw angles using your protractor Okay, now let's get on to angle facts. So here are some of our angle facts, and I'm going to show you parts of the Corp Maths revision cards. So this is a right angle, and the angles in a right angle will always add together to be 90 degrees. Because you know that a right angle is 90 degrees, if you've got two, that right angle split into two smaller angles, those two smaller angles will have to add together to be 90 degrees. Or even three angles or four angles, the angles that form a right angle have to add together to be 90 degrees. If you've got a straight line, the angles will have to add together to be 180 degrees. And if you've got angles that meet at a point, that's going to be 360 degrees. So it's very important to remember those angle facts. If you want to write them down or make a note of them, if you've got window pens, draw them on your window. It's very important to know those angle facts. Okay, so there's some of the angle facts. Next, if we've got a triangle, the angles in a triangle add together to be 180 degrees. So if we had a triangle like this triangle here, these three angles will add together to be 180 degrees. And what's fantastic is then if you know two, them you can add them together and take it away from 180 and you can find the missing angle so the angle and the triangle add together to be 180 degrees 
And also look out for triangles such as isosceles triangles, because whenever we're dealing with isosceles triangles, you got the sum of the angles of the same size as each other. So if this is an isosceles triangle, if this is 63 degrees on this side, this one on the other side here will be 63 degrees because it's got a line of symmetry. And then we could work out the size of the angle at the top. So the angles in a triangle always add together to be 180 degrees. Okay, another important angle fact is that the angles in a quadrilateral, four-sided shape, always add up to 360 degrees. So they add up to 180 degrees in a triangle, but in a four-sided shape, they always add up to 360 degrees. And in a later video, we'll look at pentagons and hexagons and so on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some questions where we have some diagrams, where there might be right angles or angles at a point or a triangle and so on. And I would like you to pause them to find the missing angles. Okay, so here's our first two questions. We've got this diagram and we've got this diagram. Can you please work out the size of this angle X? And work at the size of this angle x so feel free to pause the video now and to find the size of those two missing angles okay so here we've got a right angle the angles in a right angle add together to be 90 degrees so that means if we take 70 away from 90 we'll find the size of this angle so we'll just do 90 take away 70 and that's equal to 20 so that means the x here is equal to 20 degrees and that's it Next, we've got a straight line. This is a straight line. And also, we've got a right angle. I'm going to write 90 degrees beside that right angle. So that means if we want to find the size of this angle x, we need to add together our 90 and our 55. So we'll do 90 plus 55. And 90 plus 55 is equal to 145 degrees. Now, if we take that 145 degrees away from 180, we can find the size of this angle. So we're going to do 180, subtract 145 degrees, and that's equal to 35 degrees. So that means that x is equal to 35 degrees. And that's it. So in in this question we know the angles in a right angle add together to be 90 degrees so this one would have to be 20 and in this one we know the angles in a straight line add together to be 180 degrees and also right angles 90 so if you then you could work out this one to be 35 degrees and if you worked out both of those questions well done okay let's have a look at our next question feel free to press pause now and to work out the size of this angle x Okay, so here we've got two angles and they meet at a point. We've got this obtuse angle, 140 degrees, and we've got this reflex angle, x. So to find the size of this reflex angle, because they meet at a point, they add together to be 360 degrees. So if we take the 140 away from 360, so if we do 360, take away 140 degrees, that's equal to 220 degrees. So that means the x here is 220 degrees, and that's it. So if you've got x to be 220 degrees, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, this time we've got two triangles. Can you please work out the size of x in this triangle? And can you work out the size of x in this triangle? So feel free to pause the video and try this now. Okay, so remember the angles in a triangle add together to be 180 degrees. So let's add these two angles together, the 75 and the 80. So if we do 80 plus 75, 0 plus 5 is equal to 5, and 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. So these two angles add together to be 155 degrees. Now, if we take that away from 180, we can find x. So if we do 180, subtract 155, let's see what that's equal to. 0 take away 5, well, let's borrow. So that's now a 7 and a 10. 10 take away 5 is equal to 5. 7 take away 5 is equal to 2. And 1 take away 1 is equal to 0. So that means that x would be 25 degrees. And if you got that, well done. Okay, next, we've got another triangle. So again, the angles added together to be 180 degrees. We've got these two little lines here. That means that this is an isosceles triangle. So that means that two of the angles are the same. So as you can see here, the line of symmetry will be down there. That means the two angles that would be the same will be this 35 degrees and this one over here. So that's also 35 degrees. So if we want to find the size of this angle X, we're going to do 35 plus 35. So 35 plus 35 is equal to 70 degrees. And then if we take that away from 180, so we do 180 take away 70, that's equal to 110 degrees so it means the x the angle at the top here is 110 degrees and that's it okay so we've looked at the angles in a right angle angles in a straight line angles at a point we've looked at angles in a triangle now let's have a look at some angles in a quadrilateral so here we've got a quadrilateral a four-sided shape can you work out the size of this angle x so feel free to pause the video now and to find the size of this angle Okay, so to find the size of this angle, the angles on a quadrilateral always add together to be 360 degrees. So we're going to add our 70 degrees, our 50 degrees, and our 90 degrees. That's a right angle. We'll add those three angles together. Let's do that to begin with. 70, 50, and 90. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 9 is equal to 21. So that means that 70 plus 50 plus 90 is 210 degrees. So these three angles add together to be 210 degrees. Now if we take that away from 360, so if we do 360, take away 210 degrees, that's equal to 150 degrees. So that means the angle here, x, is equal to 150 degrees. And that's it. And that's it. So in today's video, we're going through types of angles. So you've got your acute angles, those angles between 0 and 90 degrees, your right angles, those 90 degree angles, 
your obtuse angles, angles that are bigger than 90 degrees but less than 180. You've obviously got a straight line, which is 180 degrees, and then you've got your reflex angles, which are angles that are bigger than 180 degrees, um, but less than 360. So those are your types of angles. Obviously, you've got your angle facts as well. So the angles on a right angle add up to 90 degrees in a straight line, 180 degrees, a full turn 360. Also, remember that you've got angles on a triangle add up to 180 degrees. If you've got isosceles triangles, two of the angles are the same. If you've got a right angle triangle, you've got a 90 degree angle in that triangle and so on. So if we've gone through those angle facts today and the types of angles. I really hope you found this video useful. I highly recommend, particularly on this topic, because angles do come up on the GCSE papers quite a lot. Have a look at the practice questions today and give those a shot. And there's a link to them in the description below. So I really hope you found this video useful. As I've said, it'd be useful to make sure you've got all your equipment. So your pens, your pencils, your protractors, calculators. I tend to bring two into the exams and so on. So make sure you've got those in your lessons because you may be doing past papers and so on in class soon. It's important to have all that equipment. You don't want to be having to borrow things from people. And sometimes there's some protractors that just aren't that great in terms of, you know, the measurements and the lines. So get your protractor and get your favorite protractor and bring it in with you. And that's it. So I really hope you find these videos useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And tomorrow we'll be doing 79 days to go. So three o'clock tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.